Now let's add a swing pool to our plan. We go to the swing pool tab up here. We click on pools. We can either draw our own unique custom shape or we can also go over to options, shape options here and load shape and we can select from a pre uh, set of pre-made designs. Uh, I'm a real fan of pool number 10. So I'll put pool number 10 in and it just randomly places on the page. We can rotate that so that it fits fits our design a bit better. It's also the pool's a bit large and we can reduce the size of that just by using the drag handles here on the uh, um, on the side of the uh, the image. When you go into perspective view, you'll notice that automatically it has selected a, a coping on here. It has uh, um, also, if you go over to our sloped area here, and if I were to drag the pool over to the slope, it automatically fills in a section of wall so that uh, the pool is properly uh, supported and uh, so that it looks visually correct. We can change the wall material, of course, to match our our uh, dimensional limestone. We'll do that right now. And we can also change our coping uh, here to be, uh, it's right now it's the uh, Brussels, of course, full nose. We can change it to uh, even the ledge stone if we wanted to. We'll do the ledge stone blue stone. And we can select the rough cut if we want for uh, a different visual appearance. And if you want to change the joints, of course, it's a matter of dragging this uh, little slider around here. So there you have a pool installation. Now we can build a patio uh, that joins up to our pool, up to the, uh, the raised patio. And we'll do that next. So we'll go over to Landscape and we'll select, uh, pardon me, we'll go over to Building and we'll select um, patio and we'll start drawing probably the easiest place again of course is in the um, plan view you can zoom right in and move over as you go so we'll we'll do this one as a curved wall so your curved bezier tab is on and then you can, if you want, just join up to any place. You might go to just go back to straight there so you can change your, uh, your angle here and start working away around the edge of the uh, pool deck. And perhaps your, your patio goes up to there. Now we need to go to straight again. And we'll move right over to there and to there and over to there and there. Place that into place. Now we have a patio around our uh, pool deck and that looks quite good. And of course we can go in and do some tweaking uh, at any time with uh, the edit points. You'll find that that uh, really comes in handy a lot to uh, help you refine things uh, visually. Back to plan view, turn off the edit points, and uh, there you have our, uh, our pool patio.